Good day to you. This is David Richano with Bounce the Tribe, Body, Mind, and Spirit. Okay, at least I remember this time I got it's going a little later, so my alarm won't go off and shut the video down <clears throat> for a moment there. So, got that taken care of. All right, today, uh, are you being accountable? Now, this came up because in yesterday's video, I mentioned the idea of what type of effort you were putting in. Were you being minimal effort? In other words, just getting by, moderate effort. Or we put in your best effort. I mentioned how I wasn't. And in turn, that actually led me off to being accountable a little bit because I let the viewers who watch this know it's like, okay, that means I gotta be held a little accountable. So that's where that kind of came in. But I hear this a number of times from different groups and different trainings I have. It's to hold yourself accountable to somebody. And it's gonna take place in a variety of ways, but the general notion is if you say you're gonna do something, you have someone you're gonna report to. So a little check-in buddy, if you will. It can also be a coach, mentor, whoever. <clears throat> but it helps if it's someone you do not want to disappoint. Because if you're checking in and you got to tell the person, I didn't do this, if it's somebody you really don't have much of a connection with, it's not going to have much of an effect on you. But if it's someone you don't want to disappoint, you're going to probably do all you can to make sure you do accomplish what you said you're going to be. Uh, this can be a business. It can be an exercise, be in life, whatever it's going to be. Yeah. I did this definitely a while back when I took uh, Craig Ballantyne's, what he calls a millionaire morning routine, a millionaire morning, something like that is what he calls it now. Um, so I need to kind of, one of the exercises in there was a good accountability buddy. So I did that with my buddy, Phil. Now, it wasn't as effective for me because of the way I did it. I was just a little text message to say, hey, I'm going to share. It probably would have been more beneficial. I mean, it's still beneficial, but I would have probably gotten more out of it if it would sign maybe a phone call or something more elaborate than a little text message to say, hey, I did this, this, and there. I think a phone call would probably have been a little better, at least for me anyways. But I still got benefit out because I still checked in and I was able to meet my goal. And I finally had some stuff that changed up. But I finally did make it to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. But that was what I was working on. But accountability, this is one you can either do for yourself. But it helps it, if you're accounting for yourself, there's no one to kind of keep the reins on you, keep what's going on. So it's usually better off to have someone else be accountable to it. Now, this can also be in a group. This is one of the training when I was working on my training this morning. Or one of the classes I'm taking. Uh, know how if you get yourself around the right group of people, they're going to hold you accountable because you can share information, you can boost each other up, and kind of get yourself going <clears throat> and support each other. And that's <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about this. But yeah, hold yourself accountable and get someone else in there, and make sure it's going to be someone that's actually going to help you out. Sometimes might a little tough love, but not someone that's going to put you down. Not someone that's going to ridicule you if you don't make it. Someone's going to help you out and booster you up. <clears throat> Dang. I apologize for this. I don't know what's going on. Hey, you don't finish off an hour ago, no longer. So, but yeah, accountability. It helps out. It keeps you going. It keeps you focused on make sure you do what you say you're going to do. Sometimes it's a public accountability. You can say something on your, one of your social media posts and have those people hold you accountable. Again, it's a good idea if you can get in certain type of groups, whether it's, uh, well, current times right now, especially in California, you don't necessarily have in person groups, but. Multimedia groups or excuse me, social media groups can help out tremendously. Find someone get a phone call to check in once a week with each other helps get it, especially if you're working on the same thing. It helps each other out. But hold yourself accountable. Make sure it's something you're going to do if for body, mind, and spirit. And think about that. That could actually work with your communal spirituality. You get your people around you, help support you up. That's one way that can. And having someone who holds you accountable, it helps work with your spiritual community, communal spirituality. There we go. Oh boy. All right, so let me know your thoughts on that. What have you done? Have you have you worked with either having someone be accountable to you or have you been somewhat accountable to someone else? And how's that worked out for you? So this is something I'm referenced quite a few times and different people I learned from. Accountability is a big factor there. Whether And a lot of times, like I said, get accountability buddy. A coach can work for that. It's one of the things I do as a coach is to be able to have people come to me. They tell me something I'm going to do, and we're going to try to make sure that you do it when you check in the following week. Did you accomplish your goals? What happened? And what you can learn from it. So a lot of different aspects from it. So let me know your thoughts on that about uh, accountability. All right. We'll catch you next time. Take care and balancing to you. Bye-bye.